Coming to you from that once forgotten artery that pulses through the center of the continental United States and into the heart of the Ozarks, Grace Matthews. Looking in from the northern border, our Canadian friend, along with his countrymen, feeling the effects of U.S. political issues, Connor Murphy. Welcome to Dueling Dialogues, episode 194. I'm Connor Murphy here with Grace Matthews in Springfield, Missouri. Hi, Grace. How you doing? It's Friday! Yes, it is. And I'm going to happy hour today. Oh, are you? Nice. So, I haven't done that. I haven't been doing that for a while. Yeah, I haven't been happy either. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you need to be happy for an hour on Friday. I mean, one day a week? Come on. Yeah, you need booze to be happy nowadays, I guess. I don't know. With all this impeachment talk... (laughs) Or well, hey, I got four more years of Trudeau. Never mind impeachment. (laughs) Exactly. Oh my gosh, it's it's just crazy. And every time you you sort of hear, oh, they got something. They got the president. Oh my gosh, they got him. And then you sort of hear it or read the transcript and. No, they didn't really get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, there really isn't anything there. Where is the there? Now, I am worried. I'm going to tease this. It's not really about what the show's about today, but I have a feeling that in two weeks, we're going to talk about Rudy Giuliani being in a lot of trouble. Oh, really? He had to lawyer up yesterday. Ah. Now, that's in all this impeachment talk sort of reminds me of a Ron Contra back in the Reagan days. Right. And Oliver North. Right. And Oliver North is Julie, Rudy Giuliani. Right. I think Rudy, maybe the fall guy, he might have been acting a little rogue. Uh, knowing I him, I would say but, that probably it could be the yeah, case. Uh, yeah, he, he's, he's a lightning rod. Um, but I don't see them getting the president so far. No, I, mean, I saw- this is the stuff they have. It's not. It, it's it's nothing. Yeah, I saw an interesting video on um, Facebook the other day. Not sure who the channel is um, or the page uh, that it came from, but it was uh, just a guy going out and interviewing people with a microphone and and a video camera, and it looked like Venice Beach. And the question was, should Trump be impeached? And pretty much every Californian said yes. Mm -hmm. And then he said, well, okay, what should they impeach him for? And they had nothing. Yeah, I mean, you got to have something. Or they'd say Russian collusion. And they're like, "Uh, yeah. That kind of fell apart a few months ago. Yeah, but nobody had uh, a reason to impeach him. Just a bad president. That's what they said. Yeah, bad president. You know, well, we our forefathers put things in place for a bad president. And you know what? I hope yours did. But you got that prime minister for another no, four years. No, that that's all been changed. He's untouchable. I, I think he's proved that that he's untouchable. He could do whatever the hell he wants. Um, there is just growing and growing and growing. Um, an idea here in the West that we're better off to separate. So, um, hashtag Wexit. Wexit. Yeah, the West of Canada is okay. uh, looking for other options. Where uh, I I read an article yesterday where Alberta is thinking about uh, asking the U.S. to become a territory. Oh, wow. I love that. Yeah, they got a ton of oil and gas. Yeah. They could supply you know, us. I think we ought to also take our Mexico as a territory. <laughs> there you go. You know, after the shooting of these this Mormon family um, across the border, they kind right. of used them to attract. A, a, it was one drug cartel trying to attract the attention of another drug cartel so they could ambush them. Right. They shoot up. Six kids, three moms, come on, on the way to a wedding. Wow. Um, why don't we take that piece of shit country over? It's a beautiful country. The yeah. Mexican people are lovely people. The cartel ruins it. 
Yeah, and it's tough because uh, they've got people in government, they've got people in in the military, they've got people in the police force. Very, very tough, um, slippery road that they're on where, you know, they, they know this stuff is going on, they know it's wrong, they're trying to stop it. But how can you begin when you, when you can't trust anybody? Yeah. Part of the problem here is that Trump has made, you know, a big impression on that border. He has built some fence or a wall, whatever you want to call it. He's also got the Mexican government to cooperate. So it's hurting the amount of drugs that the cartel can get across the border. Right. Okay. Then they get mad and they become more violent. They become way more violent against Americans in Mexico. Right. Okay. For the first time in years, under the Trump administration, drug use is down. Are you wow. kidding me? We got a better economy. We got people with jobs. Minorities are doing better than they ever have. The stock market hit an all-time high yesterday. The stocks are going great with China. Love him or hate him, you gotta say the man is getting it done. Yeah, absolutely. Shit done. Yeah, not like uh, uh, Trudeau. No. So you know, you may not like who he slept with. You may not like the color of his skin. You may not like his hair. But you know what? That's just not enough. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Yeah. Don't look at him. Don't sleep with him. You know? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, I guess we better move on. The topic today is kind of fun. Okay. But serious because there's lots of stuff floating on, around out there. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what's true or not. Okay. So for our listeners, and our listeners are are awesome. Our show yeah. keeps doing better and better. This is almost like um, a little game. It is like a game. It's like truth or fiction. I don't know. I'm not seeing what we say is true. I'm just saying it's out there. Right. Okay. Okay. The very first thing I have got here is Democrats are so fraudulent and corrupt that they don't even use their real names with the American people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, here's what we got. Barack Obama's real name is Barry Sotoro. Really? You say that that is the name that he registered under in Colombia. They say that name is what has people concerned about whether he was actually born in the United States. I don't care whether he was born in the United States. He's already been president. That's over. Um, However, later he changed his name to Barack Hussein Obama. Okay. Okay. His real name is Barry? Yeah. He doesn't look like a Barry. (laughs) All I can think about is Barry Gibbs. You know, back when the Gibbs brothers um, had the Afros yeah, I mean, they're white as snow. They're Australian, <laughs> you know. And and um, I, I don't know why in my mind that image just married itself, you know, to yeah. uh, Barry Gibb and Obama <laughs> with an Afro. I don't know. Yeah, you know, uh, sometimes uh, I am. I'm delusional. I well, realize that. If he didn't change it to Barack Obama, they, they would have made him change it before he ran for president. There's like no way you could have a president Barry. Barry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pretty hilarious. Yeah. Okay. And the next one is Alon. Omar's real name is Alon Esme. Yeah. They say the reason she changed her name is so she could marry her buddy. Uh. Um. And also, she was, her family had tie, a lot of ties to terrorism. So, she really needed to change her last name to Omar. Okay. Yeah, that, that you know what? That one makes total sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it does. And uh, at least she had a rumor. I still can't. I still back up at Barack. Um, why would he get that middle name Hussein in there? Well, I don't know. I mean, Saddam Hussein was already in power, and I don't know. know. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I wouldn't have chose that name. Definitely has something to do with the Muslim Brotherhood. 
Yeah, S V O R. I don't know. You know, yeah, I don't know. Okay, Kristen Gildebrand. Her real name is Tina Rutnick. Okay. Huh. No big deal. You know. Now the next one I do know about Bill De Blasio, the mayor of New York City. His real name is Warren Wilhelm Jr. Okay, I don't understand some of these name changes. <laughs> okay, well, de Blasio wanted to be, um, it was about the ethnicity, okay? Uh, I guess having a French last name made him more ethnic, ethnically right. in right. touch than Wilhelm was a little too white, a little too... Um, that's got to be a British last name, probably. I mean, um, you wow. know, French people are really white too. So I, I, I'm trying to tell you what I've heard. I don't necessarily believe, believe it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Beto O'Rourke is really Robert O'Rourke. We did kind of know that. Beto makes him seem Hispanic. His dad gave him that nickname for that very reason. <laughs> okay. Because you know he were, thought he would do better in life if he seemed a little Hispanic. Well, I don't think it makes him Hispanic at all. I am kind of puzzled by that one, but whatever. Okay, Bernie Sanders is Bernard Gutman. <laughs> okay. Are you sure you didn't make some of these up? I am sure I didn't. Like, I couldn't have really. Okay, um, Kamala Harris is Maya Harrison. Now, I didn't sort of know that. Oh. Um, What's wrong with Maya Harrison? I love the name Maya. I do, too. I oh. like it better than Kamala. Yeah. I mean, okay, here's a good one. Pete Buttigieg is actually Paul Montgomery. Okay. Well, so these she just, got against Paul Montgomery? I have no idea. And Obviously, Judge is hard to say. I don't know. Family skeletons in the closet, maybe. I, I don't know. But I when you know. look at Bernie Judge, it's kind of like butt gig. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, does you really want somebody a, be, a last name that starts with butt? Yeah, I, I, it doesn't make sense at all. I don't know. It, you know what it reminds me of? This will crack you up. I've got a tree in my front yard, okay? Okay. It faces, it faces the house, right? The living room, we got this big picture of windows, and the marking in the tree is like an ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like a crack that goes to the ass. So when I see this name that says butt, you in think the of your, I think of my tree. You think of your ass tree. <laughs> I mean, it, it's so bad, and it looks so much like a butt, we kind of have talked about covering it up, you know, because it's lewd. <laughs> oh, well, that's too funny. I'm afraid my little granddaughter, I'll come and go, Nanda, <laughs> show these bottoms out there. <laughs> oh, too funny. Okay. Elizabeth Warren is not really, her name isn't really Pocahontas, but it's Liz Herring, like the little fishies, those Great. little fishes. I don't know. Huh. Why she didn't like Liz hearing. Yeah, I, like her. I don't Just know. Fine. Okay, Cory Booker was known as Tony Booker. What's wrong with Tony? Yeah, I don't get it. I, I don't know. Like Tony. I, I always liked that name. Maybe his name was Anthony. I don't know. Right. Eric Holder was Eric Hinton. Okay. Huh. I wow. I can't believe how many of them changed their names. You know, I can't either. I was really shocked by that and um, pretty intrigued. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I had no idea they all these people had changed their names. Yeah. You know, it makes sense, I guess, in the celebrity world. Why not in politics? Absolutely. Okay. Here is just um, sort of a little sampling of what's out there uh, because people are starting to rationalize what the Democrats are doing. They're sort of trying to rationalize what Trump does. You know, how do you balance maybe like we were talking about in the beginning of the show, him 
you know, his record and him personally. Right. But when the Democratic Party doesn't seem to have a focus beyond taking out Trump, people actually question it. And here, here's a quote um, that was online. There are a lot of people out there who don't like President Trump, and that's their business. But when a political party spends 100% of their efforts and energy on destroying a duly elected president, there is danger. They will destroy anybody who disagrees with them, including you and me. People are starting to take this personally. Even people that did not vote for Trump, okay? Right. They're starting to say, well, he was duly elected. The economy's good. He hasn't started a war. He hasn't destroyed the economy. Why are you so intent on taking him down? Yeah. And is that all you got? (laughs) Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, back shorter to our original theme, which is truth or fiction. There was a 16-year plan to destroy America by Barack Obama, who was supposed to do these things we're going to talk about between 2008 and 2016. Okay. Then Hill was supposed to come along in 2016 to 2024 and finish it off. Hmm. Okay? Okay. Now, if it would have been a really good plan, you would have reversed that. Had her first, then him. Right. But, um, so I would already blow, blow holes in the plan. Okay, so here's what, um, here's what Barack Obama, Obama was supposed to do. Install rogue operators in the government i.e. Comey, Lynch, Holder, etc. Okay. We know that he had a lot of people in the deep state right. doing his business. I mean, look at the letters. You know, and then last week when Lisa Page was doing McKay Bannon stroke. Right. <laughs> so she got around. In this age of Me Too on the left, I'm a little surprised she would be so <laughs> loose. Loose, yeah. yeah. But, you know, I would um, be a little worried about that. Okay. He was going to remove good guys from government. Valerie Jarrett was in, was in charge of that, getting that done. Okay. That was, um, and you got to remember, Valerie is still with them. She lives with them, him and Michelle. Right. Which is weird. Okay. Okay. Fund terrorism. MS-13 and ISIS. He actually learned through the OFA and other right. ways that he appropriated money. He actually did sort of fund terrorism. And if you will watch today, still, Nancy Pelosi and company will still defend MS-13 and ISIS yeah, to a I know. certain extent. That is very fishy that, that that's even occurring. So there's, there's yeah, there's something going on there, definitely. Um, yeah. Which kind of tends to make me believe this theory. Yeah, I mean, and, and of course, these people, Hillary and Barack, more so Barack, I believe, are globalists. So destroying America is really a pathway to globalism to them. It's, it's not that they want to blow America up so much as the American way they want to unite sort of, sort of like the European Union. Right. Okay, which didn't hasn't really worked out that well either. Okay, next, Barack Obama, they were to leak classified intelligence and military secrets to none other than China and Russia. <laughs> okay. I do not have examples of that, but I tell you, I believe that. Okay? Uh, Yeah. Remember, truth or fiction. Some of these things I can't back up. Some of them I can't. Well, she kind of did that. Hillary did that. Well, you're ready to watch. With her email server. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, you got a point. Okay, special access program SOA. Now, and, and they use as an example here, Hillary Server. So I would kind of join those two things together. Yeah, yeah, the absolutely. Link to classified information and allowing special access. Right. Okay. His job was also to nuclearize North Korea and Iran, which both of them, which it happened. Yeah. I mean, he really gave Iran a lot of money and turned his head the other way. He turned his head on North Korea, and that's how they were able to build the nukes they have. Right. Okay. He cut military funding. Okay, you cut the military, it's easier to globalize. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, he weakened the NSA and uh, revealed the programs. That's one thing, well, reason why Edward Snowden sent over to Russia. Right. Because he pretty much exposed that. Did he do it the right way? I don't know. I, no, I don't think he did it the right way. However, I'm not so sure he should be sent in Russia. Well, is he? I thought he was in the UK now, serving a sentence. Oh, is he? Is he? In? Yeah, no, I'm not sure. Are, are, you, are we confusing him with um, the WikiLeaks guy? Oh, uh, yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Snowden I am. worked for the NSA. Right, 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 right. right. Okay, but the WikiLeaks guy certainly played a part in some of this. Yeah, Assange, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Assange, right. Okay. He funded supply and supplied North Korea and Iran. Again, this comes down to Iranian one, because Russia certainly doesn't mind to give uranium to North Korea and Iran. So we gave them Russia uranium one or uranium. Okay, right. they turned around, gave it to Iran and North Korea. Right. And then we, of course, had that Iran deal. Yeah. Talked about earlier. Weakened command of generals. He ended the don't ask, don't tell. I, I don't know that that would be um, the most important. I don't know that that would be the thing that would weaken generals. But I do believe that he did not value generals. Right. Okay. And um, their thoughts. Okay, target weakened the conservative base. Okay, what he did was he had to tell the mainstream media that it was against conservatives, Republicans, right. and such. He also, the IRS under him, targeted um, Republicans, conservatives, and their organizations. Okay. Hmm. Kill NASA and the space supremacy or EMP risk. End of the space shuttle, remember? Right. It basically pulled us out of space. Yep. Okay, and here's the biggies that we're dealing with today. Relax borders and flood the country with illegals. Sounds like Soros' playbook to me. Yeah, and that is a new Democratic voter. Right. Okay? Now, that was his job. That was Barack Obama's eight years. Now, Hillary's eight years was to create World War III, real and uh, orchestrated. Okay? Hmm. Revise the Constitution. Kill rights that create freedoms, specifically the First and the Second Amendment. Wow. Okay? Freedom of speech, freedom to carry a gun. Okay? Close U.S. military bases globally. Weaken that military response time. Make it take longer to get there. Right. Population control and pocket billions. Okay? There's a lot of... If we don't get a grip on drugs and when we turn our head on drugs and homelessness, it's really not... Empathy. It's right. really an apathy that kills. It is population control. 
also uh, mandated health care where the government is making decisions. I know that Canada has done it differently. Um, that can also be a population control. <laughs> Absolutely. Releasing diseases like measles. Yeah. Can yeah. be a population control. Okay, ban sale of firearms. We've already kind of discussed that with the First and Second Amendment. Um, the mass shootings, they say, no guns, no guns, you know, as if those guys won't get them anyway. Destroy and censor opposing news outlets. That would be giving, you know, censoring the news. Right. Getting rid of Fox <laughs> News. Getting rid of Newsmax, America One. Um, and, um, you know. Yep. Allowing CNN and MSNBC to just run wild with their um, dogma. Eliminate final good guys in government. Get rid of those guys in there, those career guys that are resisting this type of uh, behavior. Install corrupt Supreme Court justices. You know, we've got some justices right now that are trying to legislate from the bench. Okay, justices are supposed to enforce the laws set forth by Congress. Yeah, absolutely. Not make and the laws themselves. Not make their own. Okay, they want to open borders. Kill economy and starve. You know, I once read a long article about how Poland got sucked into communism. Right. Um, and it was written, I had interviewed a man who li had lived in Poland um, when he was very young. And they were going to feed everybody, right? Right. Next thing you know, there's soup lines and they're running out halfway through. Yeah. When the government controls food. It's scary. That's People when a lot of starve. yeah. That's when a lot of my uh, ancestors came to Canada. When you know there was talks of war, there was famines, and people were starving. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, there, it wasn't a good time. So they hopped a boat and came over here. Very sad. Very scary. And there's a lot in this street that tells us: do not bow down and allow communism yeah communism or socialism I mean socialism is just the road to communism ask Venezuela how well that worked out for them yeah yeah, yeah that's a great example remove the electoral college we know that uh, Hillary that would be um, first well, on her agenda yeah it'd be easier to fix a, an election that way it also says that they would have rigged voting machines um, yeah, I believe that. I kind of believe there might be some of those that exist already. I mean, when you have a, a place like um, there was in Pennsylvania where not one person voted for a Republican. <laughs> not one person in a whole county. Wow. Okay. Sounds a little rigged. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just can't get that many people to agree on anything. Right. So... Um, my screen just went blank. Give it a second. Um, I, do, I, I do believe this was their plan. I don't believe that they never believed for a moment that Hillary would not win. Yeah, I mean, according to the polls, she was at like 90%. So, um, yeah, they, they were caught off guard. So, um, that basically sums the 16-year plan up. Um, at the end, she was going to eliminate the rest of the military funding. Uh, I find that even if you wanted to go global, would you really eliminate all the military? Maybe so. It, it, it seems a little far-fetched to me, but um, the whole idea that we are even discussing the possibility of Socialism and communism it just seems so far fetched to me. Period. Well, it tells you how strong the brainwashing from our media has been. Exactly. And it's a scary thing. It's a scary it thing. I mean, um, it, basically, right now, 
Trudeau, I, I could compare him to Hillary. And, uh, you know, what we're seeing here in Canada is what you guys would have been going through if Hillary would have gotten in. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, there could not be a better comparison. Yeah. Okay. So how do you manipulate an entire country? Because we know it happened. We know that's what Hitler did. We, we know that Mussolini did it. Right. We know that Chavez did it in um, Venezuela. You know, so it happens. It's happened through history. Okay, first thing you do is hijack the media. Right. Hijack it's the news. Hijack the press. Already and done I in Canada. Is, they're, all, they're all the same thing to me, but okay. You hijack the biggest online search engine. Right. Done. Check. Yeah, done. Hijack the biggest. <laughs> biggest online social platforms done check okay hijack the school system done check then you manipulate the facts push the narratives create lies make yeah. people believe what you tell them to believe period welcome to Canada <laughs> this is exactly what the left has done what they're trying to do they're meeting resistance from the right. Uh, in my opinion, not quite enough resistance. These people do not appreciate our freedom. They look no. at the freedom as a bad thing. Yeah, when you're one of the untouchables looking down at the regular people in the country, you don't give a shit. Well, good point, because they think that when this takes place, when their plan takes place, they're going to be part of the elitist. So they don't think it's going to affect them. Right. What they don't understand is some of the people they're trying to protect are going to turn on their asses. Yeah, they forget about pitchforks. I, just, I love that. Yeah. Your little, um, you have that picture yeah. of those pitchforks, and they're almost like stick kind of drawings. Yeah. I love that picture. That's that's You need to get that out again. Their end goal is to be able to control you, okay? You talk about keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. Know your enemies. Yeah, and, uh, you know, with modern-day phones, that phone is tracking you everywhere you go, where you're located, date, time, everything. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, they, they talk about surveillance. Uh, I mean, they just turn on your microphone and listen through your phone. And well, let me tell you a little something else about these asses. Let's talk about their wages, okay? Now, and, and, and I'm talking about their retirement wages, okay? Right. We were, earlier we were talking about disability and retirement. I want to say that I have a son that's on disability. This just came up yesterday. And he's, he's doing great. We, we adopted him. He has several illnesses since birth. Okay, he has fallen in love with a girl that also has disabilities. They're right at 30 years old now, okay? Okay. In order for them to get married, they lose $400 a month. That's a lot of money for them. Wow. That is wrong. Under Barack Obama, he created a war on marriage. Now, right. I, I'm, not, I'm not even a crusader for marriage, but I think anybody that wants to get married should be able to. I believe that is the way it is here in Canada. You, so, you, if you live with somebody, after six months, they're, you're considered their spouse. Well, we don't have that in Missouri. Some states do, and, and most states is about seven years. They, we, they do that to actually discount your disability like it's not hard enough to work, live uh, on that disability, but you're going right. to take money away because there's two of you. So fight it out, I guess. I don't know. That's, that's just sad because, okay, so together, okay, separately they can make about $780 a month, okay? Right. From their disability. If they get married, they can get, they, together they can only get $1,119. <laughs> wow. Are you kidding me? And in Springfield, to rent a an apartment, 
I'm not even going to call it an average apartment, okay? Right. You need to make 30000 a year. Wow. Okay, so what part of this is stupid? Okay, it, 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 it's, it's sitting it up for disaster, up. and you got to wonder why they wonder why they're homeless. Yeah. Okay, so that gets me to these wages, okay? The salary of a retired U.S. president is $450,000 for life. The salary of a House uh, or Senate member for life is 174000 The salary of the Speaker of the House is 223500 The salary for the majority or minority leaders is $194,400 for life. The salary of a soldier that was deployed in Afghanistan is 38000 a year. The average income for seniors on Social Security is 12000 a year. I think we found where some cuts should be made. Absolutely. Same things going on in Canada, man. It's, uh, you know, they do the term, one term, and uh, they've got a pension for life. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It is very wrong, and um, we could go on, um, and we will probably do a part two of the show sometime. Um, well, this soon. is interesting. I learned you, a lot. Yeah, um, because I've got all of Hillary's excuses. Do we have time to do that today, or should we? Uh, no, save that let's. For the next one? Yeah, let's save that for the next one. Okay. Um, I hope everybody kind of enjoyed thinking about that. Uh, I did. I did. I can uh, definitely agree. We should uh, continue this uh, conversation in the future weeks. We will do that. And uh, we don't always agree, but life's the journey, and we're all in this together. Godspeed, Connor. Godspeed to all of our listeners out there. And remember what Oliver Doodle says. Doggy doodle doo. I love you. <laughs> Godspeed, Grace, and everyone, thanks for listening.